And is that the exit too? Marty said, oh look, oh there is, it does. It said, hi, I'm Marty. This is my parking spot. Please keep clear. Hey fam, welcome back, welcome back to another video. In today's video, we'll be going to stop and shop over in Elizabeth, New Jersey. Deshaun and I'm officially checking in over here at Moments With Us. I actually got one of these, only one in the whole parking lot, little EV charging stations here. That's pretty dope. But whoever needs an EV charger, though that is only one, they would be um, fighting over that. <laughs> one, oh, you're taking too long. Charge your car, yada yada. So let's go ahead and stop and shop and see what it's looking like. First thing I noticed is that they do have some sales on certain items. When you first walk in, you see they have the sale, sale, sale. So they do have the 18 and 15 count bag of chips here for $10.99. You're only getting 18 packages versus 15 here. To me, I don't know, you can get the same one at $9.89 right now at Walmart. The same um, 18 count of potato chips. They got buy two, get one free for the Coca-Colas here. But what is the original price? They also have the four for five, um, but you got to download a digital coupon as well for the little sodas here. I already see some gaps in the shelves as I'm just now walking through the door, like in the front area of the store. I see the fruits over there already looking like they have gaps. And let's walk. Let's walk through the little store. flower section here. When you bring in kids, especially toddlers, they always want a balloon. Maya was like, can I have a balloon? I'm like, no, you can I have a balloon today? So I'm noticing just a few, well, a lot, I mean, just not, not just a few um, of gaps with their produce here, but we are heading into September soon. So I guess some things are out of season, I don't know, but they're $2.99 a pound for these nectarines. That's expensive, $2.99 a pound for the plums as well. $3.49 for the fresh plouts, plutes. I guess I'm saying that right. Um, so yeah apples as well a lot of this stuff is coming in almost at three dollars a pound 3.99 for the what is that oh, 49 cents for the um apples 49 cents a, i mean bananas oh, apples and bananas the gala apples what is this a three pound bag yep three pound bag is 3.99 5.49 for the granny smith apples certain other things here not a lot of produce going on let's go ahead and hit up some of these owls see what's happening well 4.99 for the navel oranges here and it's only once again a three pound bag now that's quite crazy they have the three pound bag of the grapefruits too and, um, i don't know that's five dollars for that small bag oh no that's a little bag you was about to pay five dollars for this little bag that bag is really small what you get about 10 in there where'd she get this from though oh right here it is five dollars personally i wanted to go to save a lot but we was right here next to stop and shop and we haven't been in like a few years so we're here things in here oh my four four and on save 50 cent that's not a sale but there's one bowl of this ramen here the annie chun super bowl of ramen spicy miso japanese style that's still five bucks. It looks like things are honestly just spread it out all over the place over here. Um, I mean, that's what I get when I'm looking at these shells, actually. Big deals, big deals. Save, save. I hate when they have stores like Save a Lot. And, you know, you don't save a lot or, you know, stop and shop. I'm really going to be stopping, looking, and not really shopping. $2.49 for this here um, applesauce. We get six cups. Jelly meat. My mother did want some lunch meat. So that's what made us actually come to stop and shop versus save a lot just because save a lot does not have like the deli area versus oh my god, ten ninety nine for boar's head a pound, twelve ninety nine for boar's head a pound as well for the chicken and then a the cheddar cheese for ten ninety nine, save a dollar. Save listen, it's not saving. Them prices are ridiculous. Eight fifteen, seven thirteen, they got a little sale. Saving a dollar or two for this honey ham. Meat is becoming quite expensive, you guys. Stop and shop brand six ninety nine for the honey ham. Where ham? Yes, that's it right there at the bottom. Five ninety nine. Stop and shop um, deli ham. 
Where is that at? That's seven ninety nine a pound. Yeah, say honey roasted turkey breast. You want that? Yeah. It should be. All right, so she's gonna get some lunch meat now. You said two dollars and change. They felt stale though. That's because about No, I'm good. I don't like that kind of bread to be all. Nah, I'm okay. Um, <laughs> it comes. It's down to the point where for deli meat. They are like really um, having issues with the deli meat to the point, like certain meats, they're not allowed to cut right then and there. What they're doing is you have to, what? Garlic herb and stuff. There's so much water in there though. Um, they're pre-sliced already and it comes to the store like that for Walmart. Walmart is big on the pre-sliced um, deli meat. Um, for certain ones like honey turkey, you can't just go and get it cut. It's already pretty sliced. That's the only way you can get it at my local Walmart. What is this? Wanna to something. It's interesting. Bars, canned fruit, natural foods, apple sauce, things like that. These are the deal locks, so the prices I guess are locked in. They say jazzy honey mustard. In a store like this, the, the shelves are not really looking that good in all honesty. They got some mac and cheese here. What is that? Daya? $5.59, $4.59 on sale. That's not really a sale neither. Um, yeah, they're canned fruit. It's just doesn't look so good right now. Um, they got the pineapple. You can get this on Wig store brand pineapple. And the date here is 831-24. So check those dates too. I know last year they was big for like getting those last minute um, items off them dag on cargo ships. And what was happening happening was a lot of those expired items was arriving on the store shelves and it was a big issue. So, I don't know if we're going to find anything going like really sell today. Not too sure if this is a good price, but I tried their maple pecan coffee and it was actually really good. So... They do have coffee here. What happened? The Stop and Shop brand. Five ninety nine. Um, get her one. Yeah, yeah. The Stop and Shop brand is like crazy, but it's price here. You only get twelve K cups. So, I don't think that this is gonna be a long visit. I'm making a U turn already because these prices are just quite ridiculous. And I mean, I'm gonna show you guys, but this is all I got in my car cart. Two for six for these little wraps here oatmeal right now the variety pack 269 for the um stop and shop brand here what are you talking about oh look at dude they want to come home where's she at so we should be Zenobia, you should be on this side then let's get past all of this good stuff because i know that they're high price they're five dollars almost six dollars in any other store so 4.99 you'll be saving a few cents have the Brita's water filters how many of you guys have this hooked up to your sink a lot of people actually prefer when you actually go underneath your sink and hook it up to the water lines um I'll try to put a picture here versus getting these actually these things here they're saying they don't really filter much out but I still got one um on my sinks so it is what it is my mother is literally zooming through this store she looking at these prices and she like I don't think so so it ain't for me neither 69 cents for these and two for a dollar for the packets jeez mashed potatoes oh my god a dollar 99 they like a dollar 69 like everywhere else but it's a dollar 99 you have sugar uh the domino golden sugar is on sale for 359 other than that their five pound bag is coming in at that better not be right that's a 619 mm, we're gonna walk away there regular stop and shop brand of sugar is coming in at 329 they do have some flour available stop and shop brand what's that a two pound bag coming in at 259 for their flour that's crazy bunch of other stuff here some of the cans goes here it's very small it's at an 8.5 ounce can coming in at 99 cent the regular size is 199 depending on what it is that you're getting and 169 
They did have some rice options available. 10-pound bag of brown rice coming in at $9.99 versus the 5-pound bag coming in at $5.99. They did have jasmine rice available. Some sales here. The Carolina Gold is coming in at $3.99 on sale for that 5-pound bag. That's not so bad. Y'all see the gaps with the rice as well, you guys. $11.99 for their 20-pound bag of white rice was on sale they did have the chickpea rice coming in at 3.99 let me know if you guys ever try um that chickpea rice like i said always remember the international owls you might find something that you've been looking for they actually had paper plates available you guys i know paper plates is a big issue like in our walmarts and basically wait i think it's no walmart and shop right in my area major 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 gaps but paper plates and things and that sort have become extremely expensive it's like condiments is something that i'm really really big on um because we do a lot of cooking in my house <laughs> so having condiments is more you know we, it's like a must have dollar 99 for some dijon mustard a dollar 49 today for the mike's dijon mustard this here ketchup, I never tried it, but it's usually typically expensive here. Organic, unsweetened, five ninety nine, five twenty nine today on sale. Let's look for their Hanes high six. Did I six twenty nine? And that's only for the one pound. They are cook, 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 cook crazy. Got a pretty good sale here on these uh sticky fingers. So good barbecue sauce here for a dollar ninety nine with the card. Gluten free. Maybe I'll get two of these. So. So I did find something today in them wraps there. Mayo here as well, quite expensive. The squeezed one is $6.39 versus the jar one at $6.79. Oh my, and the Heinz, you guys. Uh, Vinica is coming in at $6.29. It says all-purpose Vinica, but honestly, all Vinica to me is all-purpose, you guys. Store brand is coming in at $4 and change. Um... You know, just a little low on that vinegar. They did have oil available, though it was fronted. They actually had oil available. I know over in Walmart, oil is a hit and miss. They did buy. They did have buy one get one free. Nature's Promise grass fed New York strip, which is a beef. Here's just a quick look at some of their meat options. The shelves were full when it came down to the meat over here in stop and shop and they say everyday low price phone on the no packages one. of the steak chops are coming in at close to nine dollars a pound i mean the prices varied of course per pound but um they did have plenty of those available so that technically was not a bad price honestly um for a pork shoulder you guys though it's like it's only a dollar and change a pound i see a lot of people get this stuff up and can that because it's very cost effective and you do get a lot out of that once you go ahead and cook it up and you know kind of shred it up that can really make a lot of meals they did have plenty of ground beef available most of it was coming in at close to five dollars a pound they did have some for the low price of four seventy nine a pound as well. And here's the robot. These here are little robot cleaners. Um, they're becoming real popular in the store. Oh, it disappeared when I started recording. Where is that? Is, is, ah. is that? is that? Is that? Is that? Um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down there. No, there ain't enough for no spaghetti. You have chicken breast here, twelve seventy two for this chicken this breast way. here. It's coming in at four ninety nine a pound though. I don't know about that one. I am a okay. They do have the whole chickens here that's cut up. I really don't like the way it looks, but everything's not perfect. Um, here's some more. And it's cheap though, a little cheap for some of them. $2.49 a pound for those split whole chickens, you guys. Um, when buying meat, honestly, I see how that looks. Come on now. When buying meat, honestly, sometimes you can smell it through the packaging. I always recommend you just picking it up. You know, giving it a little sniff. You can smell if it's kind of going bad or not. Um, you know, one person who is actually a butcher came to the comments and said sometimes it just be the freezer from the meat juice leaking down to the bottom of those freezers. But, you know, you pick that packaging up, give it a sniff sniff, and just see if it's smelling bad or not. Of losing their like um hygiene owls um very thin i mean i can imagine they need to keep up with the food on the shelves versus trying to keep up with other products you know
Certain cheeses were actually on sale, $1.99. Believe it or not, them, one, them little um, few ounces of them cheeses there coming in at almost $3 in some stores. And it, you know what? That's, that's really ridiculous. I think in Walmart, it went up to like two twenty two, And I'm like, what? Y'all, y'all used to be like a dollar and change. But to me, that's expensive. But I am baking macaroni and cheese this weekend. So I had to get me a few bags. But of course, it wasn't from here. I have already did my little Walmart delivery, y'all. Also, I could not believe it. A gallon of milk here is almost touching five bucks, you guys. And certain bags of chicken eggs and chicken strips. Now, y'all see the prices. Now, that's that's just ridiculous for what they charge in $10.99. Like, now that's crazy. How you doing? I think that sensors and cameras and everything else all around it. Let's look at the price of the butter and things. They got their little bakery stuff here, little cupcakes and stuff, $5.99. They're cute. Um, yeah, let's go just take a quick picture of the butter. It is cute. Cheapest price up here is the store branded uh already separated cookies uh coming in at $3.69. Butter have gone up in price, you guys. One thing about the butter, it is major shrinkflation when it comes down to that country crock butter, like major. Um, but they do have now the family size. That family size there, that family size there is actually the old regular size, y'all. That's the size I've been actually looking for. When I say, oh, my God, this thing has shrunk. It was the family size now. But I do not see that one in Walmart. Like, never. Baby formula really don't have much. The price of diapers here is just quite ridiculous. For about a few more bucks, I can get the jumbo, jumbo, jumbo box at Walmart. This was actually about to go ahead and expire soon. So, I did not get it. Which leaves me to only spend $11 and change today. It is. It's charging. It is charging. Not. This store is monitored by Marty. Yeah, so it is cameras. They're watching you. So we just left um, Stop and Shop over here in Elizabeth, New Jersey. And yeah, I don't understand these kind of stores because their prices just be quite ridiculous. I spent $11.97 today. All I get was two barbecue sauce, um, one of the small little Junior's cheesecake, and a pack of goldfish for Maya. And that was it. It was $11.97. I don't know what I did with my receipt at this point, though. Um, but yeah, this is Shana, y'all. I'm officially checking out for a moment with us. Hopefully, you all are doing well. Like I said, Dante, get in. It is what it is. You all stay prepped, stay blessed, stay safe. Most of our main beautiful queens and kings. If you like this video and enjoy today's walkthrough, don't put her down, her shoe fell off. Um, and enjoy today's walkthrough. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think. Until next time, y'all. I'm officially up out of here. I'm trying to get the kids in the car.